I'm going to make a real simple dish, which is just cream of mushroom soup pork chops in the crock pot. I have sweet onion and herb. This has a real nice flavor. Ground black pepper, garlic powder for the pork chops. This is coconut oil spray that I'm going to spray the crock pot with. And then the onion soup mix. Once the pork chops are seared, the onion soup mix will go in with the cream of mushrooms. I don't have fresh mushrooms right now. I'm going to run up to the store and get those and I'll put those in later. Also going in will be sliced onions and chopped garlic. I would imagine most of you know how to make this, but I'm just going to show you what I do anyway. Um, this is a pretty popular dish, really easy for anyone. You could make it in the skillet even and just cook it on the stove. You could bake it. Um, but I prefer to use the crock pot. That way I don't have to watch it and worry about it. These pork shoulder blade chops are really big. Wow. So I'm only going to be able to do one at a time. Someone asked me in the previous smothered pork chops video if I cook the pork chops why do I put them in the crock pot. Well because they're not cooked when I do this. I'm just searing the outside. So it's still raw inside. Also with pork steaks and shoulder blade steaks, which I think are kind of the same, they've got fat in them. And when you cook them in the crock pot low and slow, they get really tender. And so do actual pork chops because they don't have much fat. Cooking them in the crock pot causes them to get tender. So I just sear these, you know, a couple of minutes on each side just to brown. You're, you're fine to put the pork chops straight in the crock pot. This is an added step, but you don't have to do it. It's just a preference of mine. I got this coconut spray for tea. I've got some in the bungalow, but she doesn't have any. I'm going to turn the crock pot up to high. Let that warm up for a few minutes. Now I'm going to put the onions and garlic on the bottom. And then the pork steaks will go on top. I love this knife. I use it all the time when I'm here. wonder who makes this. Oh, I'd love to get one of these. Chop and Scoop Miracle Blade. Miracle Blade. I have to look. See if I can find that. Because I always use this knife for chopping. I hardly ever see her use it. <laughs> Doesn't that look better than gray meat? <laughs> it does to me. Okay, there's one. Don't call the fire department. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Look at that humongous thing. There's two, and there's one more. And there's three. I'm going to put in the onion dry soup mix. Now I'm going to start with half a packet. And see. That was mostly onion and not the stuff. Okay, three quarters of a packet. Then the soup.
Okay, there's a change. I'm going to run to the store and get Campbell's soup. I don't like the way that tastes. Two cans of Campbell's cream of mushroom, and I might put in a third. We'll just see. I doubt it, though, because I'm going to put in cream of chicken, too. You don't have to do that. It's just another variation. I like a lot of gravy juice and because I'll probably be putting this on top of mashed potatoes. You can put it with like egg noodles over rice. I mean, whatever you like. And one cream of chicken. Just like the flavor of it. Yeah, that'll be plenty, three cans. Going to add about a half can, well, about a third of a can of milk. Oh, yeah, baby. Getting all saucy in there. The mushrooms will go in a little bit later. I'm going to let that cook for about six hours on low. Let's take a peek and stir it. It's already starting to break apart. Got a couple more hours though. And I'll throw in the mushrooms, you know, about the last hour. Yes, that's tasty.